Yep, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another awesome video. I'm Erasmus from Garment Creations and on this channel, you get tips and tricks to amplify your heat print business. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I would also appreciate if you can join the Facebook group, it's called Fire Up The Heat Press. So that's Fire Up The Heat Press on Facebook and in that group, you can drop your work, ask questions, just talk to people doing this full time and as a hobby. Again, facebook.com slash fire up the heat press. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you step by step how to do your night maintenance clothes with your Omni DTF printer. So when you have one of these printers here, it's important that you're shutting down every single night and cleaning all of the parts that needs to be cleaned. Like it's essentials, right? So I've been using this machine now for a couple of days and like I take my time to clean it every single day. Like I, I don't do like the weekly thing. I do it daily, you know, trying to keep this thing fresh. You understand? But there are some challenges with cleaning, cleaning like the print heads, right? Like to actually get to the print head there, like it's kind of almost impossible. Like Omni actually tell you to use your phone or a mirror or something. So I can't actually use my phone because I'm using it to record this video. So I'm, we'll figure that part out. But I'm gonna walk you step by step on how to shut down this thing so you're not running into any issues with clogs and all of that. All right, and we're doing that right now. Let's go. So before we go any further, if you need DTF transfers, don't hesitate, man. Hit up the board right now. Hit the link down below. It's Dynamite Transfers, man. Any of graphicsupplies.com. You can go grab those again. Dynamite transfers, you can grab that at anyofgraphicsupplies.com. Link will be down below. All right, so some of the things we're gonna be needing today is gonna to be some rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna close that up right quick until we need it. All right, I got some Q-swabs, Q-tips, whatever. You know, there's some cleaner solution in here that came with the machine. It's also, I think, I believe it's the same situation in here. We're gonna use that, and then you got the super nozzle cleaner. All right, all these things will get used at different times. Let's do it. So before you do anything with your cleaning, make sure you got some room in your maintenance bottle, right? So if you got a little half a bottle there, you're probably good, but it doesn't hurt to empty it. So go ahead, empty that. So that way you don't have any accidents or anything, right? So we're good. All right, so step one is gonna be dynamite transfers, man, and your graphic supplies. But first thing you wanna do here is just do a head cleaning, right? We're gonna do a head clean so there is no ink sitting in the in in the wet cap system right wherever the head sit at you want to empty out draw that ink out of there so to do that first we're going to hit a little head cleaning right here boom hit that all right so after you do your head cleaning the head comes back everything is good you can see the the print head is back on this side you're good now so what you want to do is take the cart the the print head you want to hit this left this carriage left and put the, the machine, the print head on that side. So I'm gonna do that and hold it down until the print head rests there. So that way our print head now is out of the way so we can work on it because that's the next thing we need to do. Okay, so because we want our print head to stay over there, I got this little trick here from the tech person that came from Omni. We're just gonna like put, put something over here. So that's the sensor. So right now, in case that machine wanna come back, it already thinks that it's over here, so it's not gonna move for no reason, okay? So that's the head, the wet cap system there. You can see this machine been pumping all day, so like it's good there. I'm gonna clean all of that up. You see all that? Okay, see, so see all of that there? That's the before. All right, we're gonna get to that. We're gonna work all of that out and get all of these. We're gonna get all around there, all of that cleaned up, all right? So let's go ahead on that side so we can start working on the print head. All right, so to, to work on the print head, you're just gonna pop this piece off of here, it's magnetic. Because it's all magnetic, we can pop that out. That was a good thing Omni did there. But here's the challenging part with this print head, right? This is the very like part that I don't understand how this whole system was built. It would have made sense for there to be an opening right here so we can actually get to the print head. Because now, what you have to do, the print head is over here. So the print head is like right here. We're gonna not touch it. But in order to see that, Omni recommends that we put a mirror down here, okay? Or sometimes, I've been using my cell phone, but it's challenging now that I'm using a cell phone to record a video. But like, 
you can feel it. There is a there's a bar. Let me try to do this for y'all. So there is a like a brace. Let's see if I can. Yeah, you see that's the challenging part. You can't really see it. It's hard to show on video. Let's see if I can get this camera in there. The whole goal here. What we want to do here is to clean this bar. This is the print head. So we don't want to touch this print head area right here. That's the print head. I don't want to touch that, right? But there's another print head up front right here too. So there's two print heads. It's the, the colors back there. This is the white up here. All right, so what we want to do now is clean these bars. You can see there's like soft, the, you can see there's like side bars right here. You want to clean those side bars there and then on both fronts and back. So what I'd like to do, what I was told, I was told to do, there, if you reach, so this is when I'm gonna grab my, my alcohol. I'm just gonna take the microfiber rag. So what I'm gonna do now with this rag on my finger, I'm gonna reach all the way back there to try to get to this bar right here, all right? And to do that, I'm just gonna reach all the way until I touch the wall. There's a wall right here that I'm touching, right? Not a wall, but like there's a brace. So once I touch that brace, then I'm gonna come back. Let me flick this thing over. Try to get this way. Yeah, you see how challenging this is? But this is what we gotta do and try to not touch the print head. So like, <laughs> it's challenging, y'all. It's challenging, but you just gonna touch that bar. If you touch touch the um the back the back of the wall and then drag your fingers forward, you will touch you will feel the bar. The bar is for the print head, so you're not gonna touch the print head. So you're just gonna wipe that down. You mean, this is challenging, you know, but that's what we got to do. Take my finger, I'm going to go back there to where I know the bar is at. And once I touch that back wall, I'm going to drag my finger back forward until, until I touch that bar. Should have been a better way to do this, but there's not. This is just what we got to do here. I really wish there was an opening up front. So I, I'm on the bar right now. I'm just wiping it down, making sure I get all the ink from that. And remember, there is also one up front. It's tough, y'all. It's tough. All right, once we're done struggling over there to get the print head, now I want to clean all in here, right? This, this, uh, what to call this thing? The wiper, the one, this wiper needs to be cleaned and all in here needs to be cleaned out. So we're gonna do that. And what I got here is a little bit of rubbing alcohol, you know, a little cleaning solution situation there. I'm gonna just start, I wanna do it over here first. Just clean on the outside. Clean that up really nicely. Get that all that ink out of there. Okay, we can use that. We can also use our microfiber rag. Again, I just dab the alcohol a little bit. I'm gonna use my finger to clean this up but much faster. Try not to push down on this whole little mechanism over here or compart, whatever, right? I don't wanna mess this piece up. So, I'm gonna get all that ink out of there. Do it to the, you can go on the inside, clean the inside, clean around this rim. Okay, and then we're gonna do the back side, the color side. It might not seem like there's ink there, but there's ink everywhere on this thing. So, you see that? All that needs to be cleaned out daily. Now to clean the wipers, the wipers over here. I'm just gonna do the same thing. I got my little 
situation there with the alco rubbing alcohol. Got my towel just to dab this a little bit, get some of that juice off of there. And dab, dab, dab. And now we're just going to scrub, y'all. We're just going to get in there and scrub that ink out of there. That stuff should not be there. But over time, that's going to kick up. It's going to cost you a good $2,500 print head. I mean, I don't want that. So I just keep cleaning this up. Going in here, scrubbing, y'all. I mean, get all of that out of there. Scrub hard. It's just work. It's just paint. Well, not paint, but ink. Same thing on the back. This colored one on the back. All that needs to be cleaned out. See that? Ew. Sucio. All right, we'll swap that out. We'll grab a different job. Cleanliness is next to godliness, y'all. You gotta take care of your investment, your equipment. Take care of them. All right, boom, boom. Man, I'm just gonna take the... I'm gonna take the towel itself. Just to get a harder scrub with my finger, get in there, get all, all that out. Check both sides. On the top of it. All in the crack, like this little metal slot area here. I'm gonna get in there as well. Just clean the machine, y'all. Like, take your time. And I do this daily. I mean, so far I've been doing it daily. Just trying to not mess things up, you know, get all the ink from in there that probably splash in there sometimes. Like, you'll see ink splash, you know, in there as well. Like, just scrub. All right, so the next thing I want to do here, now that my wet cap is all clean, I'm going to take the super nozzle cleaner. That's this one here. So there are certain days, like every other day, I'm using this one here because this is stronger on your print on your print head. That could literally, like if you're using this every day, that could eat up your print head. All right, so you want to like trade, maybe you do like Monday, Wednesday, Fridays with this one here, depending on your schedule. And then, you alternate every other any other day with this one here, right? So it's it's both of you the same thing, but this one is much stronger. So I'm gonna take this and I wanna fill in my my cap here. I'm gonna fill it all the way to the brim, like until it's almost about to like spill. Do that with both of them. And tap it up a little bit there. All right, so now that's filled up and that's gonna be your wet cap, right? That's where your head, your print head is gonna sit in that overnight, okay? Again, if you're finding value in this video, go ahead and smash the like button one time. And if you need DTF transfers, don't hesitate, man. Dynamite transfers, anyupgraphicsupplies.com. All right, so now that we got that, all that situation is done in here. We can remove our little false fakey right here. I mean, save this up. This is going to save you some time. The next few steps now is going to be on the software. So we'll jump over into the computer. 
All right, so this is the uh, this software here. This icon is the one we're gonna go to. Okay, so then you come into here. What I wanna do here is come to WebCap. Okay, before you do, before you hit this WebCap, you gotta make sure you already filled up that WebCap system, right? So I'm gonna hit this. Boom. And then it tells you, make sure that that joint's filled up. So if it's filled up, are you sure? You just hit OK. And then once I hit OK, I'm gonna jump back over to the machine and you're gonna see what's happening. All right, so the print head is gonna come back and it's like dabbing, it's gonna dab. See, it dabs there and then it's gonna sit there. Boom. So now your print head is gonna rest there and it's gonna probably say, it's gonna say keep keeping wet. And it's gonna keep that head, that print head wet over there until the next time you need it. All right, so that's my daily steps on how I shut down this machine. If you got any pointers, you got any questions, don't hesitate. Leave that down below in the comments. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. After this, I'm just going to hit the button there and shut this thing down. We're done now with it. All right? So that's it. Oh, no. Super quick. Before we go, you want to clip all of these, right? So after you're done your cleaning and all of the situation and you got this here and it says wet capping, you just want to now go ahead and close these up just like that clamp it boom clamp all of them so your ink is good and situated not running no clogs overnight do it on both sides